Stacy. Welcome back to my channel as the tea brews. Today I thought we'd do something a little bit different and check out all of the teacups and teapots and um, tea brewing accessories that I have in my home, in my collection. Um, everything's kind of stored in different areas. I don't really have one spot that it all fits and I don't use it all all the time. But I am going to find everything and pull it all out and we'll talk about it. So let's get started. So I'm just going to take you guys into my kitchen and show you all the different places that I have things stored and then I'm going to get it all out and put it on the counter and we'll see what we have. To be honest, I've never done this. So this should be interesting. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Okay, I'm going to start in the corner cabinet of my kitchen and this is where I have, mm, I would say most of my teacups not necessarily my steeper cups and brewing cups, but most of my teacups and teapots. So I'm gonna pull all of this out and then I will see where else I have items stored. <laughs> okay, so I've grabbed a couple of things out of the hutch also to add to the collection growing on the counter. So down here I have all of my china from my grandma and there is a whole set of teacups here. I have one out to show you guys, but I'm not going to get all the rest out because they're all packed up and I don't really want to <laughs> unpack them all. Um, they kind of just stay packed up down here, which is sad. I should figure out a time to use them. And then down here on the other side of the hutch, I have a couple other items that I'm going to pull out. So this is our coffee slash tea station, and this is where I make all of my tea, but I don't have my tea stored here, and I only keep a few cups up in the cupboard that I use um, for the season. So I've got my tea cups that I currently am brewing tea with up here. We have all of our regular mugs here that everybody uses for coffee or milk or whatever else they want to, and we've got a lot of like coffee supplies and things up here. But I'm just going to pull out the tea related items and then below that I do have a drawer with some coffee and tea stuff so I'll be pulling a couple things out from there and then I've got this cabinet full of teaware also so I'll pull that stuff out okay so I think I've got everything pulled out I could not fit it all on the kitchen counter on the island it actually is covering all of my kitchen counters and I left some things in a drawer and I'll just kind of go through the drawer with you guys um, rather than pull them out. I'm not sure where to start. Let's start with teapots. So I do have a cup of tea here that I'm drinking. I brewed up a little bit of um, tea pigs, peppermint, and licorice that I haven't had in a while. So I'm drinking that while I talk. Okay, so first I'm going to start with the teapots. And I have three that are identical. Okay, they are called a stump teapot and they are by For Life. And I have a teal aqua color, a red color, and a white color. And these are about 16 or 18 ounces. They have a removable filter. And these are a lot of fun to have for individual teapots. So I like to use these when I wanna use a teacup and I don't want to brew it in the teacup because most teacups are kind of small and so I can brew in one of these, remove the filter, and the tea just stays in there until I pour it out into my teacup. Okay, so very similar to these is this teapot by Tealeria. I'm not sure if I said that right, but this one I actually have not had very long. I got this one when I thought I was going to have some friends over for some tea. But with COVID, that didn't work out, but hopefully one day it will. Um, I just wanted to make sure I had enough small individual teapots for everybody, so I bought another one. The difference with this one is that it has this little rubber bit on the lid, and it kind of prevents the lid from closing all the way, which I don't love that feature, but I don't think it's really gonna affect very much. It just doesn't seal, and that just kind of bugs me. But other than that, it's a pretty teapot. It's kind of a robin egg blue, and it is a matte color where the other ones, the stump teapots, are a shiny. So 
The next small teapot I have is by Bee House and it's from Japan and it has a removable basket as well. This is one feature now that I, I look for in a teapot is the removable basket because without these it just makes it a little bit harder to brew the tea. So I prefer the teapots that have a basket that fit and I prefer the teapots that have a basket that will go down most of the way into the teapot so that it can reach kind of no matter how much water you put in, it'll reach and you don't have to worry about that. So this is a nice shiny dark blue. This lid does come off, which is handy for cleaning. The other ones did not, but I like that to put a lot. I've had it for a long time. I used to have a white one just like it, but it broke. So that's very sad. And you probably will hear my husband and my son talking in the background because they are playing video games and it can't be helped. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, the next small teapot that I have is this white one, and this is from the English English store, EnglishTeaStore.com, and I've had this one for several years. This one does not have a tea basket inside of it already, so I would have to use some kind of alternative way to filter the tea, which probably, in all honesty, would make me not use this teapot as much, but I will use this one a lot like to set it out with my displays, and so it's a little bit dusty. I would have to rinse this one before I use it. My next small teapot is this teapot from Tea Runners, and you can see this one on one of my recent unboxings, and this is the teapot that I'm currently refilling my cup with to drink my tea. And I really enjoy this tea. This one, I am using a tea bag today, but most of the time I would use loose leaf in this one. And you can watch the leaves unfurl and that's a lot of fun. And that's the reason that I got this teapot. And it holds about 14 ounces. Um, there's a mark for eight ounces on there, which is convenient if you only want eight ounces, like to fill a little teacup, but you can also get up to about 14 ounces, 12 to 14 ounces, I think. My next teapot that I want to show you is this clear one from Old Barrel Tea Company. And this one I recently picked up as well. My favorite thing, I have two favorite things about this teapot. One is that the filter goes nearly all the way down to the bottom. So if I wanted to only make half a pot of tea, I could. This teapot holds about 30 ounces of tea. It does make it so that the tea comes up the spout quite a bit. So you just have to be careful when you pour. But other than that, I love this teapot. I love being able to see the, the color of the tea. And I've wanted a clear one for a long time. Next, I have this teapot from Tivana that my husband and kids got me for my birthday one year. And this has a really nice long filter basket that goes all the way down as well. And this teapot, I believe, holds a little bit more than 30, maybe it says 32 ounces on the bottom. And so this is a really nice size. It came with four teacups. One of our teacups actually broke, which is very sad. It happens. But I have four plates. It came with a yellow, an orange, a red, and a purple. The teapot is like a really pretty teal color. And it has a gold handle. The infuser basket is not gold, it's silver, but the trimming on here is gold. And this is a really nice teapot. I enjoy the quality and the design of this one a lot. There are a lot of things about Tivana that I definitely miss. The teacups themselves look more like coffee cups to me, but you know, that's just how they are. They are gold and the plates are all different colors. The next teapot I want to share with you is this teapot from David's Tea. And this teapot is this round kind of bubble shape with gold trim. And it does have a gold infuser basket. I don't love how small the infuser basket is. This is the same size as the Nordic mug infusers. And this teapot is actually supposed to be like 40 ounces. Okay, it doesn't say on there, but I believe it's like 40 to 50 ounces of tea that can be held in there and it's a very small basket. And so I feel like that was a design flaw for this one. And the other thing I don't like about this basket is when you take the tea basket out, this lid just slides around and in order to pour it, you have to be very careful and hold that lid on. You cannot just pour it without, the lid, without holding that lid or it will fall right off. So I don't 
like that about this design. Other than that, this is a beautiful teapot. I did get five cups to go with it, little teacups. They do not have saucers with them, but they are the same pretty aqua color with the gold trim on them and the white inside. These are probably eight ounces each. And I got five because there's five of us in the family and I do actually have one more in a box in case one breaks. My next teapot is this light green one and I've had this one for a, quite a long time. And this one does not have anything signifying what company it's from. It is like a Chinese or Asian teapot. I'm not exactly sure what style it would be, but it would hold probably about 24 to 26 ounces is my guess. I have four small little teacups that go with it, the Asian style teacups with no handles. And so I like that teapot as well. I'm just kind of moving around here so I can show you guys the, all of these teapots. The next teapot I have is, well I have two. I, I kind of classify these two teapots in a similar way. I have two larger white teapots. This one is kind of this pumpkin design, but it's just all white and it's a taller teapot. This one I would use with a, like a big tea ball inside of it. Okay, so for this teapot and this next teapot, I I've used these large kind of spice or tea baskets that hang on a chain. And you put the tea in there like this. You open it up, put the tea in, close it, and then you would hang it on the handle and then you could remove it after the tea steeped. So I've used that for those. So I've used that for that teapot. And this other teapot is a large white teapot, has this, um, has this embossed leaf and acorn pattern on it. And it's just a very simple plain teapot. This one holds quite a bit. I would say this one's about 36 ounces. This one's probably maybe more like 30 ounces. I can't remember where I got these two teapots, but I have used them for tea parties in the past. In fact, I'll have to insert some pictures of the girls. We did a big teddy bear tea party for Abby's, it must have been her seventh or eighth birthday. Oh, she's 13 now, and it was my favorite birthday ever, and it was so much fun. But we used, I think I might have picked these up for that party. Here's Abby and Ellie. They are so cute with their little teddy bears and their fascinators. We had finger foods and tea and juice and had a lot of fun. So the next one is this cute elephant teapot. It has quite a small hole in it. I don't think I would want to use loose leaf in here just in case something was hard to clean out. I would probably only use a tea bag or just use this for decorative purposes. Or actually this might work good for milk to add to your tea. Um, my mom found this at a thrift store that she volunteers at and she got this. This one says microwave and dishwasher and oven safe. I'm not sure why you would put this in the oven. This is one that is a beautiful Chinese teapot, Chinese, Japanese. I'm not really sure how to tell the difference, but this one is from the Asian market and it is a soft blue color with the beautiful little white flowers on it and it has a tea basket insert. And I do have four cute little teacups that go with this one. And so we like doing this one with a meal with some green tea in it. So this would be my last teapot and the first teapot I ever received. And it is white with beautiful purple violets on it. And my husband bought me this teapot along with some teacups when we were in college and dating and it's the violets were my sorority flower and I love tea and so he um, purchased this as a gift for me and this one is a crown door set and so this one was a, a nicer more expensive teapot and set than some of the other ones that I've gotten so I have three of these violet tea cups and saucers and these are beautiful. I love these. These were my very first set, like I said. I would like some more English 
teacups and a matching teapot someday. But for now, this is the only, these are the only cups that I have that match the teapot, like the English tea style. And I only have three now because one of the handles broke. I believe it broke during one of our moves. I do have the piece still, two pieces actually, but I have not glued them on. It would be just for decoration. I wouldn't be able to use that because I wouldn't want it to break. But I have, so I have four of those, only three that I can actually use. This is just a little inexpensive white teacup that I picked up probably at a thrift store. And this one is nice because it's just plain and white and it goes with any of the other white teapots that I have. This teacup was a gift from a friend and it was, I believe she had like a small bracelet in it that we wore um, in her wedding for the wedding party. And so um, I like that little teacup, that one's pretty. This one, I can't remember for sure where we got this one, but this one uh, is very heavily covered in red and pink roses with the green leaves. And this was a very inexpensive teacup. Ellie, for so long, loved, loved this teacup. This is the one that she would always pick to use. So this one is a teacup from my husband's grandma. And this is a Queen Anne. And it has yellow roses on it with the gold trim and white background. And I love this teacup. I'm afraid to use it though because I don't want to ruin it. And this one is also from my husband's grandma and it's a little bit more of a contemporary design with its painted pink flowers and gold trim on it and the little green leaves. And I like that one, but I am afraid to use that one also because I don't want to ruin it. So here I have some of the teacups from my grandma's. This one is nothing fancy. It was just in my grandma's collection of china and teacups. And so this is just a plain pink little Cup and I think it's kind of fun to use occasionally or to style for like Valentine's Day or in the spring. This one is from my my other grandma and this one says uh, it has a Japan sticker on it and it's this very delicate fancy design with the flowers and the gold trim painted on here and it has these tiny little feet on it. And so I don't really use this one. It's more of a decoration. Okay, this teacup is from my grandma also. And this one, oh, the same one, the other pink one came from. And this is Flint Ridge China. And I don't have anything that actually goes with this teacup, but I think it's cute. And so sometimes I'll um, stack it with some other things. I have these teacups, which I believe came from I, we called her my Puma. Um, <laughs> when I was little, I had, um, both my grandmas lived nearby and one had a pool. And so the one that had the pool, I nicknamed Puma when I was very, very young. And that name stuck and we all always called her Puma. So this teacup, the green and flower one came from Puma. These pink ones came from my other grandma. And I, I'm not positive which grandma had these teacups. Um, I don't have a teacup for this little saucer and so I tend to put this one on here but this teacup came from one of my two grandmas and I believe it was from my grandma Frances who my my youngest daughter is actually named after that's her middle name Frances um, but this is such a pretty little design because it was hand painted in China or hand painted in Japan but it's this beautiful pink with the delicate gold design painted on it. This teacup I believe came from my Puma and this one is hand painted. It says Occupied Japan on the bottom and it's a black teacup on the inside with this these beautiful delicate flowers in pinks and reds and leaves in green and the gold trim and it has this little plate which actually I'm not positive that this plate goes with it. It looks like it should but I'm not positive about that so I keep those together and I mostly use that one for decoration and I don't like to use some of these teacups because these two teacups are white with a gold trim and the dark pink roses painted on them and these are from my grandma and I have two of them they are Royal Kent 
and I have two saucers that go with them also. I have used these on occasion, but I am afraid of breaking those, so I'm very careful. And then the last teacup or items from my grandma is this. This is it says Hira Fine China Japan Ridgewood, and this is a cute little teacup with saucer. It's white. It's got this del like pretty little pink floral design with leaves around it and this one's actually part of an entire set that I have of china from her so I have plates and bowls and serving ware and so I just keep one of these out in my my hutch to display and then I have a little cream and sugar bowl that match it so here is the little creamer and then here's the sugar bowl so those I have on display in my hutch I would use them if I had people over for tea that I knew would be very careful with things. <laughs> Other than that, I don't really pull them out. Okay, so this teacup um, says August, and this is Ellie's teacup that my mom got for her for her birthday one year, and this is a Royal Albert, and it's super cute. It's got a little, it's white with the pink and blue flowers on there, and it's got the saucer to match, and this does not match it but my mom gave this little plate to her with it and so she likes to use this for her snack and then her her tea in here so this cute teacup is aqua and it has the red and white designs on it it was a moroccan teacup that i recently got from t2 and it has a little matching cream and sugar bowl so this teacup is such a fun design. It's different from the others in that it's kind of an English cottage design instead of floral. And I just love that this has birds and clouds on the inside of the teacup as well. So you have something to look at when you're sipping your tea. And this teacup actually was from a friend when we had a tea party. And this was probably 20 years ago, before I had kids, before mm, I might've been married, but if so, just recently married. And we had a little tea party and we all brought a teacup to do like a white elephant exchange. And so this is the teacup that I got from that. And I love this teacup also. It's just really cute and fun. And so this teacup is a little bit more of a recent acquisition. And this is a fortune telling teacup. And I got this one, I believe for my birthday this last year. And it's a lot of fun. I did do a video on that one. I have not played with this one very much, but I definitely want to try to use it more. Okay, these two teacups are heavy, kind of a cast iron black. And these are of the Asian style teacups without the handles. Um, I have the little black leaf saucers. And you can see kind of like a gold coming through on the edging. Um, on those and that's really pretty. These were made in Japan. I bought these from Tivana and I got the reason I bought these was because they just looked manlier so when we started doing tea parties my husband and son could use these instead of a girly teacup. The only problem is that these teacups get really really hot and so you have to be careful with those. I have two of these cute cat teacups and these ones were a prize from an Instagram giveaway and the name of the Instagram Instagrammer has escaped me right now. I, I'm so sorry. I can't think of her name um, But she had a little giveaway and I love these teacups. They are so cute. They're kitty cats and Here's a green one and then there's a blue one which I'm currently drinking out of right now and I love these I'll use these um, Often with my little teapots. Okay, and last but not least I have these teacups that are not super special to me in any way. Um, I just got these at the thrift store when we had our teddy bear tea party for Abby and these, let's see, Royal Swirl Fine China Japan and they're just kind of plain white with a little pink and silver design. They do have a cute little flower painted on the inside and I have four of these teacups but I've got quite a few plates. One, two, three. I have nine um, plates with them. And the reason I bought all the plates and um, they only had four teacups is because when we had the little tea party, 
um, the girls could eat little snacks off of the extra plates and then use one for their teacup. And so that's why we bought those. And this is just another inexpensive teacup here that we found at the thrift store just to serve when like the girls had friends over. So I don't, I don't want them to use my teacups um, that are really expensive or special because you know how kids are, they break things. Um, and so one more I think I forgot to mention. Um, this was one that I picked up rather inexpensively, probably about $5. Um, it's Paragon by Appointment England. And this is um, one from the thrift store. And the bottoms actually are different on these. They're both Paragon, but they don't look like they're supposed to go together. But the designs look identical. So it's like this peach background with the pink flower and the multicolor kind of leaves and other flowers on there. But anyway, so I got that one inexpensively at a thrift store so I don't have to worry too much about um, the kids and their friends breaking any of my more special teacups. And here I have these cloth napkins that we made for the teddy bear tea party and I just used a whole bunch of scraps that I had on hand at the time and I just sewed all of these. Well, of course we could not use all of these but I was trying to do a wide variety of colors so that they could match up to any teacup that they used. Um, and so these are just kind of a fun little addition to a kid's tea party. And then in the same box, I have some pretty little handkerchiefs that were my, that belonged to my grandma's. Most of them I believe were from my grandma Frances, but I think there might be a couple in here from my other grandma. And so I keep them in here because they just, and a doily here. Uh, they just look like they would be fun to use with teacups and a tea party. Okay, so we have moved away from the uh, center island um, and these are the last of the teacups, but I picked all of these clear glass plates. They're, I think they're called like luncheon plates or snack plates, but they have, they're just clear with this um, leaf design embossed in them and they have a little spot for a teacup and the teacup probably is not the right one to go with these plates but it is clear so I got these um, I have one two three four five plates um, and the plates are all the same and then I have five of these cups that are all the same and they just have kind of a little line swirl design on them but I got these so that we could do kind of like a, a lunch tea and you have like your food and snacks on here and then you have your tea and you can hold it. And so I thought these were a lot of fun, but I got these really inexpensively at the thrift store, probably 50, 75 cents each for the plates and about the same for the cups. And then I have this clear, I have these clear um, cream and sugar bowls. And my mom gave me these. They were given to her by my aunt who, I'm not sure where she got them or if she had them or if they were my grandma's. Actually, I'd be curious to know. Um, and I'm not sure what they are, but they are just very intricately embossed and clear. And so they kind of go with this, this little clear set here. Okay, now moving on to my infuser mugs, which is the way that I drink tea most of the time. And these are almost all, all except for one, from David's Tea. And I love, love, love these cups. I use them on a daily basis. So I have too many to keep in my cupboard where I fix my tea, so I just kind of rotate them as the seasons change. I wish that they would make more that could be cleaned in the dishwasher because a lot of them cannot. They used to do more that could go in the dishwasher, but lately they've all been like hand wash only, which is disappointing. But all right, so I have two of these plain Nordic size mugs and I love these mugs because they hold a good amount. They're about 16 ounces and they have the built-in infuser basket and then has a lid to hold in all the nice tea smells and aromas when it's steeping. And then you just turn this upside down and put your tea basket on it. The mugs that they sell now through David's Tea don't come with the infuser basket and so you have to, and so they're a couple dollars cheaper, but you have to buy these separately if you want those. Otherwise they just come the mug with the lid now. So I, they used to all come with the infuser baskets, but they just don't anymore. So I have a white kind of waffle design and a blue waffle design and both of those are dishwasher safe, which I really like. 
These two are from a couple years ago. I can't remember what collection, but this one's like, but this one is a pink and orange gradient design. And this one is a purple and kind of a aqua gradient. These are hand wash only, not dishwasher. Uh, unfortunately, one of these, this blue one, had some of the, the paint chip off on the top, which is sad. Then I have Toucan Clear Glass Nordic Mug from David's Tea. Well, almost all David's Tea. I probably don't need to keep telling you that. Um, here is a dark blue one that says drink tea, be happy, and it has a little cute sun and cloud design on there. This one is a perfect mug size. I only have four um, mugs this size. They really don't make these anymore, but I really enjoy this size a lot. But this one's more of like, I think it's about 12 ounces. And so this one is a white one with the blue and gold, and it says tea makes everything better. Here is a Halloween one. Um, I don't know if this was last year or the year before, but this is a color changing mug and it is a dark purple with the snake and some other things, trees that appear on there when you add hot water. This is a fall one, a Nordic mug, and this is white with the orange and blue fox and fire campfire and leaves that appear on there when you add hot water. This is a dark blue fall mug, Nordic size mug with the white and blue and silver leaves on there and a cute little fox face hiding. Here I have another color changing Nordic mug and this one had some seagulls on it and up here. And I have broken the lid for this one, which is very sad. I do have some extra infuser baskets. There's not one in here right now. I This one was put away, kind of, I pulled this one out in the summer and I was using it for coffee. But. So this one is what used to be one of my favorites, but the colors have faded a little bit, but it's got all these surfboards and then one of them has a bite taken out of it and you can see the sharks on the inside. Uh, this one, I the lid broke also, so I, I've just been using this one like in the summer for coffee. Okay, so here's a waffle kind of design blue perfect size mug and this one's just a nice general one and this one goes in the dishwasher so it's very handy and convenient. This is this kind of cool Moroccan, not quite clear, but it's like an iridescent silver and greenish color. And this is the perfect size mug. It does feel quite delicate, but it, I've used it quite a bit and it hasn't broken on me, but it's got a clear lid. So here I use this one a lot. This is a clear perfect size mug with gold leaves on it. And this one, I love that you can see the color of the tea in it, and so I have used that one a lot in videos, and it fits in my cup holder in my car. Um, here's a Christmas mug from last year or the year before, and it has some reindeer on there, and it's a dark, almost black color, and it's got snowflakes, and it's kind of a bluish green design on top of the, the midnight mug, and that's a color changing one. Um, this one is a gray Nordic size mug with the brown bears on there, and I like using this one in the winter time. This is another winter mug, and it has the polar bears on there with the blue background. These are probably some of my favorite mugs to use in the all winter long, and these are clear Nordic mugs with the I can't remember exactly what they called it, but it's got like these little green village homes and white snow at the bottom. And these are some of my favorite mugs. I have two of these. So my husband and I can both use one. Sometimes he gets jealous when I use the, the cute mugs and he gets stuck with whatever. <laughs> um, and then I have this. This is my last perfect size mug from David's Tea and it's red with gold and white snowflakes on it. And it's got a cute little hedgehog or something on top and on the side there. And then my last infuser mug is this mug that my sister brought me from China and it's blue and aqua, dark blue and aqua and it's got a ceramic infuser basket in it which I don't use very often because it doesn't filter out the, the tea quite as well as the metal baskets. This is a really fun mug. So next I have my Gaiwans and my tea tray. 
and I got this guy one from Chinatown in San Francisco and I did post a video trying to use this once a while back. I'll try to link that in the comment section below. I'm not very good at it so <laughs> I don't don't learn from me, learn from the experts online, but this one's a really pretty dark green, kind of greenish blue with yellow dragons and um, design on there. And then this other guy one is one that my mom picked up at her, the thrift store that she volunteers at. And this one's got a really fun kind of Japanese know, ocean design on there. I think it's got, you can see the mountains in the background and the little hut and the little paper ships in the water. I'm not sure what those are. Um, and then, so that one's, that one's really fun. Okay, and then also in Chinatown, I bought six of these tiny little teacups. I don't know if these have a name, but these probably only hold like an ounce, maybe two ounces at the most, an ounce and a half of tea. But this is what they were serving the little tasters with um, that they would service in the tea shop. And so I thought that would be fun to do like tea tastings at home, which we have hardly ever done. I need to put this out so we can do that more, but I have not. And then this little clear pitcher is what I strain my guy wands into. It has a little metal filter on top. And so I can pour the tea in there and then use this to serve into the little teacups. Okay, we are almost to the end, so hang in there. Okay, so this is a teapot from Lopecia and this one I've had for a long time. Uh, I used to get like um, samples from them monthly. My husband got this when he when they still had what their US stores um, but he bought this one as a gift when he went on like a business trip for me and he brought back a bunch of their teas and this is kind of a fun one to steep like cold steep in the fridge you can hot steep in this one too I need to use this one more this is really a fun little teapot okay so this would hold up to 16 ounces if I filled it up to the 500 milli milliliter mark and uh, this tea infuser is removable but you can steep any amount of tea since the infuser basket goes all the way to the bottom. And so I love the teapots that are clear. Okay, and then I have four of these, I don't what, know what they're called, like gravity teapots or infusers. And this first one is a large one. I think this is 32 ounces. But this one is from Tivana, and I've had this one for a very long time. And then I have two other ones also from Tivana, but I believe they're very similar, if not exactly the same as the infusers from David's Tea. And I have one more from Tiesta Tea that came with a prize package that I won um, a year or two ago from them. So we use these two all the time. I highly recommend having these because they make it very convenient to steep your tea and then move it into a to-go cup or into a mug. I like to use these for my youngest daughter the most because um, when you steep the tea in a mug, it makes the tea real makes the mug really hot. And when I steep it in here first and then put it into the mug, it kind of has a chance to cool off just a little bit so the mug's not quite as hot. Okay, I have a matcha bowl, and this one is from Tivana, I believe. Yeah, this one is from Tivana and it's a very pretty, probably handmade design. And it's glazed and it's kind of this pale green color. I've got a matcha whisk. I honestly do not use these very often because I just use like a, a little electric whisk <laughs> instead. Here are my tea tumblers and I have a clear one from David's Tea. I have a stainless steel kind of tealish geometric design one. I've got my iced tea press from David's Tea. Actually, we have two of those. Um, the other one is with my husband's tumblers. And that one's mine, this one is mine. Okay, I have, what were these called? I can't remember what they called these little pop top tumblers from David's Tea, but I have one of those and this one's a pink with a little kind of star and polka dot design at the bottom. I forgot to include these, but my kids each have one of these pop top tumblers and they have used them quite a bit for iced and hot drinks to take with them to school. Um, I honestly hardly ever use that one, but I bought it. I think it was on sale. I love these 
tumblers to go. I love, love, love these. These are awesome. And I don't remember what these are called, but these have, oh, carry, carry tumblers maybe, something like that. But they have this little lid um, to carry it and they seal completely so I could throw this in a bag or a purse and my tea is going to stay hot for hours and not spill. So I have a blue and sea mint green and a purple one. And I love those. I have used those a lot. Um, I have one like to-go tumbler that I can drink straight from that I don't have to screw the top off. And this one says keep me warm and that's from David's Tea as well. And then I have a matcha tumbler that you can shake hot matcha in and then release the, the heat with a little button on top. Okay, so these are my husband's um, tumblers and I pulled those out of it. He has a little cupboard that he just has his stuff in. But he has one of the same ones with the carry top that I like and I when he was working away from home, he would I would send him with one of these in addition to like his coffee. But now he just works at home all the time because of COVID. Um, so that one is handy and that one's just silver. And then he has like a black kind of sparkly one for that we use for traveling with uh, iced matchas or um, you can do hot stuff in that also. He has his own iced tea press and he's got one of these little pop top tumblers. We don't really use that one very much. And then he has a black matcha um, shaker also and that can, you can do hot uh, matcha in that and shake it up and release the steam. And then I have some extra little tea steeping things in here. Here's a few extra David's tea steepers that um, just probably were from mugs that broke. And so those just stay in, stay in here. Two of these similar style baskets. One says Tazo tea and the other one is just generic, but you can use those with any mug. Two of these little, uh, these are like large balls that you can make a whole teapot of tea um, and then remove it. So I use those for the teapots that I don't have baskets for. There's an extra lid to a mug that broke a long time ago. And then this is to put over your teacup and strain out any extra leaves that might fall in. Um, so it's pretty, it's kind of dainty. I don't really use that, but it's here if I need to use it. Then I have this little floating tea filter that my mom gave me and the little cup that sits in it. Last but not least, I have all of these tea baskets that came with the to-go tumblers that we do not use. I don't like to steep the tea in the to-go tumblers because it makes it way too hot. So I, when I, when I make tea in one of these, if I want to take tea in one of these tumblers, so I first brew it in one of these gravity steepers and then I um, go ahead and pour the tea um, into the to-go tumbler so it won't be quite as hot in there. Lastly, I have this drawer that I have some various coffee and tea supplies in here. Okay, um, so I have three perfect spoons from David's Tea. They have released so many fun colors, but I find I don't really need multiple colors. I really just need one. And I use the silver one the most because it is the most durable. These other two came with advent calendars in the past and the paint is chipping off, so I don't use those very much. But they hold about two and a half teaspoons of tea. And then I have three teaspoon size tea scoops that um, one's from Tivana and the other two say one cup of perfect tea, which probably came from Burn and Blend. Then I have two matcha spoons. This one is a David's Tea matcha spoon. The paint is chipping off. It should be about half a teaspoon worth of matcha. I ordered this one from Burn and Blend, one cup of perfect matcha because it's a stainless steel and I thought it would be a lot more durable. I have some small little teaspoons here that the girls and I use with our teacups. I've got some blender, blender balls when we shake up our cold matchas back here. This is to clean my Keurig. Um, so these are the little whisks that I use from Ikea when I make hot matcha. I just stick it in there and blend it up. It's a lot easier than using the matcha with. A little sample of rock sugar that came from Adagio. And then I've got some little tea bag holders. This one I painted, I think, in college. It says a hug in a mug, and it was at one of those paint your own dish stores. 
It's broken, but I've glued it in there. I've got a couple from David's Tea. This one, I don't know. This might have come from my husband's grandma, either that or I found it at a thrift store and it reminded me of her. And so um, I think of her when I use that one. And this one says, it's always time for tea. And that is, oh, but I have fun. I have another one of those little, so they go over the teacup like this, and so when you pour the tea, you won't get tea leaves in your, your teacup. So I have two of those. I thought I had two. Here I have just some various supplies. I've got an extra coffee scoop, some honey dippers. This one is a really nice one from Old Barrel Tea Company that I actually haven't used yet. I was kind of waiting till I was um, making tea for more than just myself and using honey to use this one. And this one was a cute little one from The Necessities. Then I've got some little coffee stirrers, honey sticks, and various supplies. So that, my friends, is everything I have tea related, I believe. Teapots, teacups, tea accessories. I did not show you my hot water brewer, but um, you have seen that before, Cuisinart. And um, my milk frother, I guess I should have showed you those. I also have a large iced tea pitcher from David's Tea that I forgot to include. But other than that, that is everything. I hope that you enjoyed seeing this video. I have a huge mess on my hands to put away now, but um, it is worth it. And it makes me really excited to get these out again and have a little tea party and use what I have. I hope you are enjoying your day and leave me a comment below and I'll see you next time.